Good afternoon. This is probably the most special treat that you'll have all year. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, this is a special treat uh, for the fishermen. Um, today, you can see I have the Christmas background. Why? Well, because Christmas is coming up. And to me, this box is Christmas. I get it once a month, regularly, and I get new products that you can't get in your local fishing store. Um, and it gives you, as a fisherman, a new persona, to say, uh, gives you an edge. It gives, it gives a fisherman an edge that we don't normally have on the lake, unless you're a professional bass fisherman that does it 24 years, 24 uh, hours a day, seven days a week type thing, uh, where you have, where you have the sponsorships and stuff like that. Uh, this is for the average Joe. Uh, yeah, uh, MTB sponsors people, but this is not a paid sponsorship. And with that said, let's get right into the meat of it. I have not opened this box. Um, I can tell you now, uh, there, there's three different boxes in here. Um, uh, because I ordered three different boxes. I ordered a walleye, a offshore, and a bass. Um, well, like I say, with it being Christmas, I got Christmas gifts coming up. I got people that fish, especially my dad and I, and I'm trying to get my son into fishing. So, um, like I say, there's a there's a saltwater package in here, there's a bass package in here, and there's a walleye package in here. So, here we go. Maybe it'll be good. So, a little bit tough to get into. They didn't want you to get into it for sure. There we go. So first thing, got a little bitty box. And what's this? This is a receipt type deal. And it shows that I got, uh, I bought a package of worms, uh, which that's the worms that I was bragging about in the last video with the red tail. If you remember that, I love them things. Uh, the walleye kit and uh, a grab bag of salt order uh, baits. This I bought as a gift box. I'm not real sure what's in it. So let's get to it. Let me get to set this out of the way. Let's get this open. I know I'm opening somebody else's gift. It's so wrong, but let's see what's in it. Look at here. Uh, this looks like the salt water, the grab bag of salt water stuff. Got uh, some three eighths ounce jig heads. Uh, looks like it's for crawfish. That's pretty good. Backbone. Yeah, it's got a little thing in there uh, to to keep part of the crawfish rid, rigid. That, that's a good thing. Set this down. I'm sorry. Um, them are pretty. <laughs> Opening night wedge tail eel. Look at there. Look at all that sparkle. Uh, that might be a better view uh, them look like uh, 
they got a different tail on them than than the uh, flukes that I'm used to, but they're shaped like a fluke. But I promise, uh, by looking at this, I can tell you now, these clear water lakes that I'm fishing on, they, these things will dominate. I'm gonna have to figure out if I can get some more of them. Uh, I'll give them a shot in in the in the next few days. Uh, let's see, I got a looks like a gold spoon with a trailer on it. Gator lures. That looks pretty good. Yep, it's got a weedless hook on there. Quarter ounce. That's that's very neat. Got that chartreuse with the speckle trailer on it. I'm sure you could change that out. Uh, it's got a cutout in the spoon so that that'll sit right. You see that? that that's neat. Uh, I've never seen anything like that. I'm going to set that over here with the rest of them. Uh, here's a, looks like a standard spoon. Let me get this out of the package. It got a... Uh, kind of in there upside down looks like there he goes uh it's got a, a hair hair tail um kind of like a bucktail hair uh trailer on it as they got it stapled into it so it don't come out uh this one's uh three eighths ounce this would be good for the stripers uh, they got it marked as a redfish stalker but this will this will do for stripers, bass, hybrids, uh, that kind of bay, that kind of fish in the local lakes here. Charlie's worms, flukes, that's what it looks like. Uh, they got a, uh, a split tail fluke here, silver and black, pretty standard uh, coloration. Uh, I've been pretty lucky with the Charlie's worms. They smell pretty good. Uh, they, they they smell like any other lure. Uh, they ain't really got any added scent to them. Um, I'm not too sure about that bow in it. That might work. You see that natural, it wants to curl up. That might work. Um, I hope it will. Uh, I'll come back and check them. Uh, they don't look like they have any added scent to them, but they might. Ten times tougher. Uh, another package of flukes. <laughs> uh, there's only three in this one. Uh, that silver and uh, white with the blue flake. Uh, that'll do real good around here as well. Uh, these are Z-Man's. Smoky Shad, Minnows. Um, the one thing, they, they smell, they, they got a little garlicky smell to them. May have to add some more garlic to them, make them a little bit stronger. Diesel Minnows. Uh, basically, they're a fluke. Uh, they got, a, they got a, a fin on the back of them. I did notice that. Then got a another spoon here as gold plated as you can see sorry for wiggling this thing around so much uh, i was trying to get it to stand up uh, they got it offshore bait so i guess uh, they, they like to staple them in place so they don't slip out of the package on you there we go uh, a pretty standard spoon with the oversized hook on it you could always replace that with a with a smaller treble hook, so you could have more control over it and lose less fish, I guess. In the fresh it fresh water, I know this is designed for salt water, or supposed to be. Let's set that over here. A rattle, uh, I'd call that a rattle trap. It's got some rattles in it. Uh, says it's unfair lures. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Uh, like them on Facebook at Unfair Lures. Let's see what it was. This one says, it has a picture of the U.S. flag on it. Let's see if it was 
see if they actually claim it was made here. Paul Dunk Dinkins Greeny 70 millimeter. All the hooks it has mustad hooks that are made in the USA. So uh, I know you can't read the fine print, but there's a picture of the U.S. flag, and it's featuring mustad hooks. Um, and you can like them on Facebook. Uh, that website, unfairlures.com. Be careful, laser sharp hooks. Keep away from children. So there that is. And let's actually look at the lure. <laughs> Um, they got a rubber band or something holding it together. Uh, I've never seen anything like that. They got some, like some soft, uh, like jig tying type material stuck in there to give it like a, a bleed, bleeding look. And them hooks are uh, pretty, 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 pretty sharp. And they got a reversed barb on them. I'm, I've never seen anything like that. Um, <laughs> but I, I don't look at everything, you know, extremely close. But the reverse barb is pretty neat. And it's got a swivel built onto the front of it, as you can see. Uh, but like I say, very, very sharp hook on that thing. Slide her back in the box there real quick. I'm trying to not ramble too much. Uh, standard jig skirt, uh, black and blue with a little clear in it. Or, I'm sorry, purple, blue, and clear. Pretty standard uh, jig skirt there. Um, there's a coupon. Uh, get your first MTB tackle box for $4.99. Use that code right there. That applies to everybody. Get four nine nine. Not valid for gifts. Um, you can like them on Facebook at that website. You can check them out on Twitter. Looks like uh, you can call and order. Uh, like I said in the va last video, I've called them. I've never had any problem out of cust out of customer uh, support. They are there, willing to help you. Uh, I don't know if they're 24 hours a day or not, but uh, Catchco is the is who has taken over the company. And there's a Dibble book, uh, like similar to the last, similar to the original ones. Uh, deep structure fishing, no boat, no problem. Three bass techniques to catch more trout. Our basic. I'm sorry. Uh, my linguistics is off today. Three basic techniques to catch more trout. So uh, I'm assuming that this one is fishing deep for crappie or uh, walleye or something. And this one is fishing off the bank. So well, if we have time, we'll take a look at this in depth. But as of right now, uh, let's skip it and go on to the next box and put all this back in here. So far, I like what I have. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty nice little box there. Let's go to the next one, which is a black box. And get this thing open. There we go. Ooh, ooh wee. <laughs> wow. How about that? If that ain't an ugly thing, I don't know what is. Let me get you a better view of this. Uh, Strike Pro Tournament Grade. And it don't say much more about it on the front. Uh, Strike Pro Lures. Made in Taiwan. Instead of focus for a second there we go you can i'm sure you can like them on facebook as well <laughs> or look them up if you want to get your own 
that thing is solid. Uh, I'm assuming that this is a lead body of some sort. It's heavy. Um, and you, you got this clear abdomen here with three beads in it. And it's very, very shiny. Uh, it tells you it's 26.3 grams. That's what it weighs. And it has phenomenally sharp hooks. Uh, but yeah, it, there's a, a profile view and side view. Let me get my finger out of his eye. He got some orange on his belly. Get my finger out of his eye. You can see the tiger stripes on it. Uh, that that thing looks phenomenal. I'm, I'm going to have to tie that on uh, pretty quick. I'll put that back in the box there. Ow! <laughs> I, the thing's trying to hook me. I need it to hook fish, but it's trying to hook me. Like I say, them, them hooks are sharp. Uh, I'm surprised I'm not bleeding. Um, liquid mayhem walleye attractant. So this must be my walleye box. Uh, uh, made with real minnows. Add garlic. I gotta take a smell. I gotta take a smelly. I gotta take a sniff test of it and see. Uh, hold on. See if it. See if it's even open. Oh, you got a. They got a a deal on there to keep you from accidentally getting it everywhere. Oh, it's red. Definitely garlic. Um, uh, definitely, definitely garlic. And you can see it's like a pinkish red there. I don't want to get too much out because uh, it, it it's stout. Uh, uh, and there's a uh, discount code. I'm probably going to use that. I'm sure somebody else can use that as well to get the liquid mayhem. Set that there. Uh, Yo Zuri uh, 3D Shad. This is suspending bait. That looks very well made. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it out of the box or not very easily. Made in the Philippines. Uh, from Yozuri to the world. You can follow. You can, there we go. Made in Japan by skilled Japanese engineers and craftsmen. There you go. You can pause the video and read that if you want. Uh, pretty standard voila rig here with a little bitty hook and a bunch of beads on it and a spoon, well, a uh, uh, spinner, I guess you could say. Uh, I've never really done a whole lot of walleye fishing looks like there's some fake diamonds on this one <laughs> i know you can't see that but they're there uh, they got a little sparkle in them and my understanding is that the uh that the walleye enjoy uh sparkly shiny stuff you can see diamond dazzler number 10 you even if i get it out of the package you probably won't be able to see the fake diamonds in there but there that is. Uh, I got some of these in a previous box. Cane thumpers. Like I say, they look like they come straight out of the condom factory. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It cracks me up. And you can like them online as well at BigBiteBaits.com. Charlie's Worms. These are a... Uh, uh, a jig skirt uh, not a skirt I'm sorry uh, they're a grub uh, there's red and brown um, don't really have a color on here uh, they say that they are 
a floating lure. And, uh, of course, they're made in the USA and they're scented. Uh, let's see what they smell like. I don't, I don't really have a real strong smell, but there they are. And that's the end of this box. Is our back to the uh, they got a Nico rig uh, 411 best ways to imitate crawfish all about the crayfish and three shad imitators um, he's got a what's inside the box you got a picture or a sticker I'm sorry and there, there that is load this back up set it to the side we got one more in here. This is probably my bass box for the month. Get this thing open. Here we go. Look at there, look at there. You know, the one thing I've noticed in the months that I've been getting these boxes, is there's no spinner baits, no uh, buzz baits of any kind in here. There's underspins, and there, there there's the, like the beetle spin type baits, but there's really not any buzz baits or spinner baits. I have not seen any actual buzz baits, spinner baits, all, mainly uh, uh, hard body baits and soft lures, which don't get me wrong, I like, I like these, but when you're searching for fish, when you're, when you're trying to find out where the fish are, whether you're using a graph or not, most fishermen are throwing a spinnerbait uh, until they find the fish. Uh, this is a Western Scandina Scandinavia. Uh, baby bite doctor it's 13 grams uh, this product may contain a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer uh, it's root beer chartreuse you can see the root let me get it out of the box real quick this ain't gonna be that difficult to get out like the other one was, would have been but uh, I've never seen this brand it's a new brand to me so, a wide, great big old wide bill. Uh, this thing, this thing is built for going really deep. It don't have a um, it says low floating. Uh, it don't say how deep it runs. I imagine it's a, a eight to ten foot depth on this thing or deeper. Now here it is, two to four meters, which uh, it was pretty deep. <laughs> uh, it's it's built for depth. Uh, there we go. Uh, feels pretty solid. Got them. Them hooks are not dull. You, yeah, they're not dull. Not at all. Set that to the side. That is interesting. Uh, looks like it has a replaceable tail. Let me get this out of here. Hopefully it ain't too big of a pain in the butt to get out. There we go. That's easy. So, uh, uh, let me look at this. Them hooks are sharp. Um, which, you know, they better be sharp. They're brand new lures. Um, that's, that's flexible. Uh, they got an orange one in here and a chartreuse one here. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to get more replacement tails from the company or not um, uh, that that would be a question to ask them uh, that strike pro strike pro dot com and of course it's made in Taiwan um, but there uh, that would be a, a real good question to ask them uh, if you can get the replacement tails or additional tails to go with it, maybe you can get one in a red or a green 
or you know a, a different color or clear or something uh, that is pretty awesome uh, I don't really want to take it tailed out I'm not sh I'm sure it comes out it looks like it comes out the top here um, yeah it just you have to pull on it pretty hard to get it out but I don't, I don't really want to take it out right now uh, maybe later <laughs> I don't want to take a chance on breaking it before I get to use it. Uh, sticker, uh, scorpion. So, um, let's see. Here's some yum. That's a brand most people know. Uh, uh, they don't want you to get into this one. Oh, you got to tear it. Tear it. As you can see, it does not want to be opened. So, alternate measures. I'll end up putting it in a Ziploc bag, probably. All this to do a smell test. <laughs> uh, they smell like rubber, uh, plastic. That's a pretty lure. They put a lot of detail into the mold. Um, as you can see, uh, Lots of detail, lots of nice coloration in there. There's that. Uh, it's got some some spin lock jig heads. Uh, they're pretty big. Mustad American brand, uh, and you can like them at mustad.com. Distributed by. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, uh, hook and wire made in Norway and the rest of it's made in China. So that's not an American product. They're, they're, they're an American company. <laughs> uh, got some flukes, looks like, uh, designed in Japan. Lucky John lures. Uh, I'm sure that, uh, Lucky John is not my company <laughs> uh, I have not made a Chinese guy named John but they're originally out of Kirkland Washington I'm sure you can find them on the internet at Lucky John Lures oh, there we go luckyjohn.info so see if they get any scent I know this video has done got long, hasn't it? Uh, had a, a off-putting scent. Uh, they don't really smell like plastic, and they don't really smell like garlic. Uh, they almost almost smell like the uh, Berkeley uh, lures. It's almost like they tried to copy the Berkeley uh, fishing lures uh, smell. Uh, let's see, we got a, uh, a Death Stalker. Uh, another weird looking bait. Now, who's this made by? Death uh, Ketchco. Uh, this is probably why they sent the scorpion uh, sticker. Uh, Cause this thing has a picture of a scorpion on it as you can see there uh, uh i've never seen a uh i don't know I, i'm i'm curious as how they're expecting fish to be caught on this thing uh, they only have one hook on here you know, some kind of spinner bait i'm assuming it would run through the water kind of like this and you gotta you got two holes for adjustments you can see there you can you can move uh i would i would probably put a uh one of these that rotates so so it does so if it does get out of whack which they got a big counterweight here this is lead or it feels like lead with some paint on it uh, i'm not real sure what to say about this <laughs> i've never seen anything like it this little, it probably worked real good in the springtime in muddy water, muddy water bait right there. Let's set that to the side. 
Um, I mean, I mean, not put it on the, I mean, not put it where they end up on the carpet and have hooks in the carpet. There we go. Put that back in there. Uh, got a little tube of garlic, MTB garlic. That's always nice to get. Looks like there's two of those in here. Garlic tubes. And uh, Jinko. Cinco. Uh, Cinco or Jinko. <laughs> I'm not real sure. Uh, that's a great big shed, I can tell you that. With a great big hook. And uh, it has a plastic. Uh, this is a Tennessee River color. You can find them at Jinko. It is JinkoFishing.com. And of course, it contains lead because it has a lead weight. It says it's made in China. The color is olive shad. Get this open. Uh, I've never seen a jig hook with a with a. Uh, what a plastic lip on it. Uh, I wish it was actually put on there correctly. It's off center. I don't know if they did that on purpose. Uh, but it doesn't look like it would fish straight up and down. Maybe you can. Uh, yeah, it's adjustable. Okay. So uh, you can adjust it. You, you, you can adjust that. Uh, I guess that's to give it added when you have it put on there I guess that is to give it some added uh, movement in the water uh, not real sure like I say I've never seen anything like this that shad is pretty realistic uh, you got a little mouth on him and gills and all that stuff that you that you normally don't see as a tricolor uh, hook is nice and sharp <laughs> I can tell you that uh, that's about it for today like i say i wish they would actually uh put some spinner baits in uh, in their boxes a buzz bait or spinner bait or something maybe they will come springtime uh, so far i i like what i get it's always interesting to open a box every month and get new stuff out you know stuff you've never seen before stuff that you'd probably never see it in a in, in you know on your daily uh on your daily trip to walmart or wherever uh, let's go over let's see let's lay out some lures for you here so you can have a good picture uh i know i just kind of i'm trying to run through this i know i done made a huge long video but I'm try to give you some idea of what all we got here out of the three boxes let's see i'll put I'll, I'll put everything out of the bass box over here. There we go. Everything out of the bass box is here. Except for the couple of pieces of trash there. And get that out of the way. I know this is just... I just put it on top of the scorpion because that's where it came from. Get that out of the way. And put the walleye box in the middle. There we go. Walleye box there. And uh, probably my favorite box today is going to be the uh, the grab bag box with with the uh, saltwater lures in it. Because I don't do any saltwater fishing. I've never done any saltwater fishing. But I can tell you now, these flukes, I'm going to lay that upside. Well, no, I'll lay it right side up. Uh, these flukes and these worms, well, that worm, I bought it separate. These flukes like this and 
especially these right here are going to work wonderful in these local lakes that I have that are clear water lakes uh, where the bass are finicky and they don't you know they don't respond well to uh, to these browns and greens and stuff like that now you get up in the upper end of it after a rain and you'll get some muddy water and you'll get some response to these uh, these non-clear uh, lures, these non-white lures like this. But as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 items. Um, oh, did I count this one? 23, 24 items there. Um, all of them have their place in the fishing industry. Um, I hope you have a great day. Good luck fishing. Thank you for watching. Come back to see us. Um, next month, we'll have another MTB box uh, to share with you. I might get another one of these saltwater boxes. I like it. it, it that's, that's pretty neat. Um, they're really neat. Uh, I like that. You get a lot of lures that you don't normally see up here in Arkansas. Anyhow, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Good luck fishing. And feel free to send in your pictures of them big fish that you catch.